Hello there, it's Tim here from Second State. Today we're going to be showing you how to deploy the Uniswap exchange protocol on the Oasis network. So interestingly, in the last few days, the Uniswap exchange protocol has seen its 24 hour trading volume exceed Coinbase. So as you can see here, we've got uh, Uniswap trading over $426 million over a 24 hour period, which is very impressive. And what we're going to do is use only the tools made available to everybody to do this. So we've got the Remix IDE, which we're going to use to compile our Solidity smart contract code. And we're going to also use the MetaMask extension uh, to access the accounts and to swap tokens and transfer value from one user to the other. And this is, of course, all going to be deployed on the Oasis network. So we've got this configuration file set up here just to save your valuable time. Here we have the RPC endpoint, which is the Oasis SSVM demo. And we have here the Alice, Bob and Charlie entities that we're gonna be using for this demonstration. So we'll show you how to compile using Remix. But again, for brevity, we've actually gone ahead and compiled all of the contracts ahead of time. And we've got the ABIs and also the bytecode already loaded into this config file so we can run this just in a few minutes. Okay. So the other thing we've done here today for brevity is create this deployment file. And what this does is it connects to the Oasis network and it deploys the ERC20 tokens for Alice and Bob. It deploys the Uniswap factory and exchange contracts. It links them. It also creates ERC20 exchanges for the Alice and Bob tokens that we just created. It also approves spending for Alice and Bob and then it goes ahead and provides liquidity to those two ERC20 token pools. Okay, so we'll run that in a second, but for now, let's just head back over to Remix and show you how this works. So here's our first token example here, the Alice token. And if we go to this section here, we can compile this. And what Remix does is it gives us both the ABI and the bytecode. And as we just mentioned, we've actually already gone ahead and put all of these into this config file so that we can just run it quickly for you during this video demonstration. All right, let's head over to the terminal and do just that. Okay, so we're running the deploy Uniswap JS file. And so there are our accounts and we're creating the Alice and Bob ERC20 token. They're being issued 1000 tokens to 18 decimal places each. We've got the Uniswap contracts deployed and linked, excellent. Okay, so now the exchange for the Alice and Bob tokens have also been created. And there goes the approval for spending. And then also, as we can see here, the last action was to add liquidity to those pools. Okay, so that's all done. Now, if we head back over to the configuration file that we showed you before, you'll see that these contract addresses have now all been populated. So that's the Uniswap factory contract has been deployed at that address, the exchange template at that address. We've got the Alice and Bob exchange. And we've also got here the ERC20 token deployment that was done initially. Those are the addresses. Okay, so let's go now and have a look at this through the MetaMask extension. So we'll go in here and we've already set up these uh, Alice, Bob and Charlie accounts. Okay, so we'll first have a look at the Alice account. Now, of course, we've just created the Alice ERC20 token a few minutes ago. So we're going to have to add that into this wallet here. So we'll head back over to this config file where we conveniently have the Alice ERC20 token. We put that into MetaMask. We will see that because this MetaMask extension is actually connected to the Oasis network, it's actually gone ahead and detected the correct token symbol and also the decimals of precision. So if we click next, we now see that Alice has 900 tokens. Now the reason there's 900 tokens, both Alice and Bob were first issued 1000, but as part of this deployment process, uh, one of the steps, the last step in fact, was we added liquidity to each of the pools. And what we did there was put in 100 ERC20 tokens for each of those users, which leaves the balance correctly at 900. All right, so let's go ahead and look at Bob's account. We'll go and grab the Bob ERC20 token address. Okay, and again, the wallet software is actually picking up off the Oasis network uh, that 
the symbol is Bob and the decimals of precision is 18, which is all correct. And Bob again has the correct uh, 900 token balance. Let's just do a couple of quick transactions. So we're going to take Bob's account here. We're going to send Alice a few tokens just using this wallet software. So we might send 10. Okay, we confirm that transaction. And in just a few seconds, we'll see that Bob's account has gone down to 890 of the Bob tokens. And if we go over to Alice, we'll need to add, because now she's an owner of Bob tokens. So what we'll do is we'll add the Bob ERC20 token here. And now we'll see that Alice has 10 of those Bob tokens. The other thing we can do using this wallet software is we can transfer the network token from one user to the other. So we're currently on the Alice account. And what we can do here is we can grab Bob's public key. And instead of sending Bob um, some Alice tokens or exchanging the Bob and Alice tokens, Alice is going to send Bob one network token. We'll confirm that. So Alice's balance of 10 ETH. We'll now go down to nine, perfect. And if we switch over to our Bob account, we'll see that Bob's network token has risen as well. All right, excellent. So the next video, we're gonna cover the Uniswap front end or the Uniswap interface. We look forward to sharing that video with you soon. Thanks for watching.